Welcome to this short video tutorials. In this video, you're gonna learn about uh, membership operators. So as a data scientist or data analyst or Python developers, membership operators are the most essential skills that you must have. So uh, in case if you miss this topic is while studying Python programming, so you can cover uh, this topic now and you can understand the uh, basic uses of uh, membership operators and how we can implement, how can uh, use membership operators in Python, especially in uh, data analysis. So uh, basically membership operator in Python can be defined as being an operator that is used to validate the membership of a value. So uh, basically that's uh, just uh, uh, checks the existence of uh, the uh, variable or value in the sequence of uh, sequence of objects uh, or not. So we use membership operators to check the presence of the value or variable in a sequence, such as uh, string, list, tuples, sets, dictionary. So we may have a value or uh, data in the form of lists, tuples, or uh, sets. So we can check. Uh, the presence of our uh, uh, data from this uh, object, the sequence of objects uh, using the membership operators. In Python, there are two basic operators. The first uh, one is in. In is uh, an operator in Python that, uh, that can return true if a sequence with the specified value is present in the object. For example, uh, in this, uh, as you can see this example, P is a character. So this character uh, is uh, the, just this in check that P is exist in the a string a Python lab. So if it, if it is exist, it returns uh, true. It returns true. And the second one is the second operator, uh, membership operator is not in. That is the, uh, opposite of uh, in. So this operator is true, uh, returns true if a sequence with the specified value is not present in the object. So this uh, checks that if uh, you wanna check that the object, the sequence of value is not present in the uh, string, in the list, in the tuple or dictionary. So you can uh, use not in operators. That is the best uh, operator to check. Uh, so for example, S is not in a Python lab, so it's gonna be returned uh, true. For example, let, let's check, let's check. Let's check this uh, practically. Uh, for example, P in a Python lab. So if P is exist in, in a Python lab, in the string a Python lab, so it's gonna be returned true. True. Yes, pure, because P is exist. For example, if S is exist, it's gonna be returned false because S is not exist in the a string here. So in operator is a, a membership operator that's gonna be uh, check uh, the presence of the values or variables in the string tuples or sets or dictionary. So that's good. And if uh, S is not uh, exist in uh, this string, so we can use instead of to, to return uh, pre, uh, true to instead of this, we can use not in, not in. S is not in uh, the string a Python lab, so it's gonna be returned true. Yes, true, because S is not exist in the string this. So not in is uh, another, uh, useful membership operator. So the basically there are two membership operators in Python that uh, check the presence of values or variables in a sequence of objects, such as string, list, tuples, sets, and dictionary. Let's try to see an example, uh, real world examples. For example, if, if you wanna check the username and uh, password while uh, logging to uh, application or software. so. For example, let's uh, first uh, store list of users 
uh, which is a pair of username and password in the tuple inside a list. So this is a single user and this is another single user and the user uh, trying to uh, log into the system and entering username and password from the system. And the system checks that uh, the existence of username and password in the list of users using in operator. So uh, when the users enter username and password, just uh, checking that username and password is exist or not. So if it is exist, it returns true, which means uh, it's gonna be returned or printed out the message that you are logged in. Otherwise, it turn, returns uh, a wrong username or password that uh, on the screen. Okay, let's try to see. Uh, first, you have to enter the username. For example, the correct username is Asibev, and enter the password that is secret. Yeah, hi Asibev, you are logged in because uh, this username and password is exist in the list, in the list with uh, a pair of password and user in tuple. So it uh, checks the input uh, username and password, uh, 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 which is exist or not in the list. So that is uh, one way of uh, just implementing membership of op uh, operators in a real world lead uh applications for example if we enter a wrong username and password uh, let me see let me enter wrong password so it is not logged in so it returns uh, a wrong username which means it is not exist in the list of users that is okay another uh, one more example uh, how we can implement re, uh, not in uh, membership operator in a real world data. So let's assume you have a sales database that contains sales information. So by the way, these operators are also workers uh, in SQL uh, queries, in and not in. They are working in SQL because they are very useful uh, uh, operators. Uh, uh, we can uh, use uh, them in real world uh, data analysis. So for example, let's assume you have a sales database that contains sales information and you are asked to filter a list of customer names with their names that do not start with vowels. In this case, you may use not in operator to do this task. For example, this is a dummy data uh, and it displays in the the demi data uh, is uh, in the displayed in the data frame. And from this data frame, you are asked to filter the names that do not start with vowel. The vowels are, uh, as you know, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, yes? So if the name is uh, start with vowel, so that will not uh, filter. So you are asked to filter the names that do not start with uh, so let's uh, uh, define a function that filters customer name, list of customer name, and this customer name uh, function takes two parameters, the data frame as a parameter and list of vowels. And so in this case, uh, we iterate over uh, the name of, uh, from the data frame. If uh, that's a uh, name of the first letter, the first character from name is, uh, we change it to the lowercase and not in the vowels, is which means not in vowels, not exist in the vowels, uh, list of vowels. So it returns uh, the name uh, as a list. So finally, it returns uh, name lists, and we can just testing our code uh, by passing list of vowels uh, and the data frame we have created above. Now let's try to see the output of this uh, program. So uh, uh, from that, we have just uh, filtered Tenager Asibak. Tenager Asibak. This uh, the name is not started with a uh, vowel, and John Daniel. John Daniel is also uh, filtered because it is not started with vowel. For example, Elsa. Elsa is started with vowel, so it's not filtered, and Asibak is started uh, with vowel. 
okay so no, not filter and so on. erdogan is also uh, started with vowel so uh, this is a real implementation of uh, a membership opera operators in python so i hope uh, you, uh, you enjoyed uh, this video uh, and uh, like share subscribe the youtube channel thanks for watching